<clears throat> name is Dick Gardner. I'm not from Western PA. I'm from Tarrytown, New York, originally. Once uh, I got to be 18, uh, I did get in. Army was fine with me. I didn't care because some of my ancestors were also Army people. While I was there, my commanding officer sent word down, I need a, a code person at uh, regimental headquarters. Well, I was in Charlie Company as a rifleman, so that was quite a jump. One day I was fooling around with one of the walkie-talkies and picked up uh, the name Sergeant Gardner. Well, my name is Gardner, so I was kind of curious. I took off, left my job, took off and went from different units that were still in the area. By the time I got to about the fourth or fifth, asking the first, first sergeant, do you have a Sergeant Gardner here? And finally this fellow stepped forward, just as a fatigue pants on, brown as a berry on top, carrying nothing, cigarette hanging out of his mouth. This was Sergeant Gardner. My father. Well, of course, I just thinking about it, I still get a chill up my back. Just by dumb luck, uh, I picked up the name and found him. I went AWOL, of course, doing that. Got busted from a PFC <laughs> at the time back to a private. <laughs> <laughs> One ring. <laughs> After several hours, uh, just joined back and forth. His, guy, his guys with him were bug-eyed. This is your kid? Yeah, this is my kid. He was 38 at the time, I was 18. Uh, parents were mar married very young as teenagers. And I was first born. Uh, but the family had split up, so we hadn't seen each other. Probably three or four years since he had last seen me and, and me him. But the recognition was almost immediate. What did you talk about? Just about everything I think we could think of. Uh, mostly we were, we were just shocked at, at, at the whole thing. This can't be real, you know. So I've carried that story in my head and my heart for many, many years. <laughs> 